trying to get some catnip to grow. I started this from seed. I thought plant a big pot full and it might keep the cats near it and out of my flower bed. But it needs to get big enough that they don't kill it. It's too small right now. But they really like it. They really, really, really like it. I have went in um, to the hoop house and found all of the containers dumped, smashed. So I broke down and went ahead and put it all in this pot, all that was left of it. And I can tell by how flat it is. Somebody's been laying in it. I don't know who that could be. Who that could be. But anyway, hopefully I'll get it to grow. And I started it from seed. It was out of Baker Creek. And this is an Agastache. Texas Hummingbird. I love Agastache. I probably said that yesterday, but I love it. Mm, smells so good. Let's see what's over here. Yep, yeah, see? Yep. Yeah. These are some more Cherokee purples. I'm not starting any more tomatoes. I'm, I'm done with those. Um, still have big, big bunches. Cherokees are a good healthy tomato though. This is a Jamestown. It's a new one. It's a determinant. It's a nice looking little tomato. There's another Jamestown. Anxious to see how they do. Toothache plant. I uh, did not start these. I got these at big box store. Um, banana peppers. I uh, didn't know when to grow them until I ate some pickled ones. And it was a little late to start peppers. This one's kind of yellow and I'm gonna have to give them some fish emulsion. We've had so much rain. See all the mud? It just makes a river through the yard and it's yellowing everything so I did give uh, the plants I'm selling out by the road I gave them fish emulsion this is another agastache there's several in there really it's too this pot is way too small um, it does better in the ground than it does in a pot so I'll be moving it somewhere uh, in the next few days Smells like licorice and a, and a mint. There's Cherokee. He's in a terracotta pot because I had ran out of big pots and he was um, suffering in a cup. I, I use a styrofoam cup a lot of times and, and it just was not enough for his root system. So, terracotta pot it was. He'll go in my garden before long. It's getting really dark. Cucumbers are growing very fast. I have some amaranth in front of them and they may wind up choking it out and I'll have to move it. These are a uh, Boston Picklin and Bait Alpha. Bait Alpha do not need a pollinator which is good around here as the bees are few and far between my scarlet runner beans last night our dog Tucker went to barking like crazy and it was a different kind of bark than his oh it's a squirrel bark this was um, something terrible terrible out there so I looked out the window and in this little garden area was a big possum very very big possum it had gotten behind this fence and I guess couldn't get back out 
and I thought at first that it was in here trying to eat on my cucumbers or, or the flowers or something, but I could tell this morning that there was nothing that had, had hadn't eaten anything in here. And I did figure out what the problem was. In that chicken coop is the salmon favaroli and she's been sitting on eggs trying to hatch them. And I candled them and I guess I missed one that wasn't fertilized. And after 21 days of sitting on a, or it's like 20 days sitting on an unfertilized egg, they become a bomb and it had exploded and reeked of dead. So that will draw the predators. Her whole nest was stinking like that. So when I figured out this morning that that had happened, I went ahead and pulled the nesting material out. She had eaten the eggshells and the egg, but the stink was there. Um, I did the best I could for fresh, fresh bedding and uh, hopefully the eggs she still has didn't die from the bacteria and maybe the possum won't come back tonight looking for whatever that was possums love to eat dead things they just they just do and it will attract them and we've had a problem in the past with a possum coming along I gotta walk around this mud. I'm not gonna walk in it. Had a possum come show up one night and one of my chickens had eaten something that had a really bad smell. And that was when we just had this old coop over here that we now call the duck house. She was asleep in it. And that possum dug right underneath the door, went up in this coop, and eat, and killed her dead, eat her. So that's when we figured out, you know, they will come after the, the smell of death. He didn't bother any other chickens in this coop, and he left that night after killing the one that, and I knew she had done that. I just didn't know what would happen because of it. It was my, my fault. I should have known. I got two fake plants in this pot underneath the chicken window. There's still chickens in there now. Um, there used to be a whole bunch of Muscovy ducks in there too, but um, not anymore. It's, I believe, nine chickens in there tonight. It changes from night to night. Here's some thyme in the thyme pot. The little window. I don't I think it's too dark to see in, but there's chickens in there. The only ducks I got left are right there on the pond. And it is now dark enough that I need to go inside before I trip over something and bust my hind in. That's all we need. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for joining me. Good night.